What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some breaking news out of the just wrestling figure, just wrestling figure news in general, just the community. WWE figures, wrestling figures, action figures in general, ladies and gentlemen. Today, it was reported earlier by the Twitter account Wrestling Figure News Source, WrestleFig News on Twitter, confirmed from Toy News International. Guys, we have official news. The AEW toy line officially confirmed to be shown at Toy Fair in a few weeks. There's an article here that I'm going to read to you guys aloud to the classroom. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. This was posted on Toy News International or ToyNewsI.com or whatever the hell it's called. But again, re reported by WrestleFig News on Twitter here. It says Jazz wears to show off new all elite wrestling AEW figures at New York Toy Fair. Jazz wears incorporated by Jay Cochran here, February 4th, 2020. And I apologize for the later upload. It was uh, I had a dentist appointment this morning and. And I'm having my wisdom teeth removed on Friday, so I am super excited about that because my mouth feels like I'm burning in hell. So right here, guys, on the screen, it does say, For you wrestling fans, look for Wicked Cool Toys and Jazz Wares to premiere its first line of toys and figures inspired by All Elite Wrestling, AEW, at this month's New York Toy Fair, which kicks off on February 22nd. For those not familiar, AEW is a new global wrestling league that features a world-class roster of diverse male and female wrestlers, giving fans a new wrestling experience for the first time in 20 years. AEW is about more than wrestling. It's movement fueled by... Fans focused on fast-paced, high-impact competitions. AEW offers fans more athleticism along with real sports f uh, analytics. Founded by President and CEO Tony Khan, AEW is headlined by Cody and Brandy Rhodes, Chris Jericho, John Moxley, The Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, Kenny Omega, and Hangman Adam Page. The roster is also filled with incredible skilled competitors, uh, including Nyla Rose, Awesome Kong, Dustin Rhodes, Jungle Boy, Dr. Britt Baker, MJF, Pac, and SEU. In addition to being in-ring talent, Cody, The Young Bucks, and and Kenny Omega also serve as EVPs with Brandy Rhodes serving as Chief Brand Officer. Now, this is massive news for us wrestling figure collectors, obviously, because, you know, we, we collect wrestling figures. We love wrestling figures. We love WWE. We love AEW. I, I don't know what to say. If you don't love AEW and WWE, that's very upsetting. I suggest that you watch both. You enjoy both. This is the best time to be a wrestling fan outside of the late 90s. And so I, I would say that uh, this is just epic for us, guys. I mean, this is a really big thing. Uh, you know, when they first started coming on TV, I remember everybody talking about, are we going to get figures? Are they ever going to get figures? We knew that Mattel couldn't make the figures because we knew that, you know, Mattel has a specific licensing deal with WWE, and WWE has put in their contract, you know, uh, that Mattel cannot make other wrestling competitors, other people's figures, you know, but uh, we can talk about the figure companies that are going to be making these figures. Now, I, I kind of have mixed feelings about who's making them because we have two companies here that look like they are coming together. I don't know if they're under the same umbrella. I don't know if they're ultimately owned by the same company. I don't know if they have worked together in the past or what, but we do know that Wicked Cool Toys, obviously they've made the wrestling ring that we have seen from WWE in the past from uh, the, the scale well with the elite figures. And in the past, we know that Wicked Cool Toys has made excellent like Pokemon figures. I don't know if you guys collect Pokemon, whatever. If you don't collect Pokemon, that's fine or whatever. I don't collect Pokemon personally. I like Pokemon and stuff. I don't necessarily play it, whatever. That was a while back when I used to love it to death, but uh, they have made some really good Pokemon figures in the past, and this Jazzwares company has made Fortnite figures before, if you guys have seen those. The Fortnite figures, I don't know if they're responsible for the bigger ones. I don't know. I feel like that's McFarlane that makes the bigger Fortnite ones, like the six, seven inch figures. I feel like McFarlane makes those. I could be wrong about that. Um, but they do make the 3.75 inch figures, the Jazzwares. And if if these if they were smart, if Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares were smart, I'm I'm imagining since Wicked Cool Toys has worked with WWE before and they have made a wrestling ring to scale with the elite figures. I would guess that both of these guys would work together to make figures that look very similar, that scale very, very similar, if not perfectly, with WWE Elite figures. Now, of course, we don't know. We won't know until Toy Fair. That's going to be the biggest news ever. I cannot wait for that crap. I mean, think about all the customs that we've made in the past. The Kenny Omegas, the Cody Rhodes, the Chris Jerichos, the Young Bucks, the Adam Hangman Pages the John Moxley's, all these figures, MJF, I mean, there's so many figures that people and customizers have made head sculpts for and accessories and all these things that we've had to use Mattel parts for. How excellent is it going to be when we finally get a Kenny Omega figure that scales with our WWE figures? How freaking sick is it going to be to put those guys in the pick fed that we don't have to use these customs that look similar to Kenny Omega, but they're not Kenny Omega and like head sculpts and accessories to put with them. AEW championship belt to put on our figures. I know that people have customized and made 
amazing customs. They've made amazing customs of these guys. They've made excellent accessories for these guys. But it's going to be so cool to see what a real you know toy company can do coming in, getting a face scan technology, sculpting out these guys and making them look like they do on our TVs on TNT, AEW Dynamite, and putting them with our WWE figures. I mean, this is going to be outstanding. Like I said, we've seen customs before, and I'll probably plug customs in this video from multiple guys, probably BEW, Mad Reaper, uh, Showstopper Custom Figs, all these great customizers uh, that, that are going to be plugged into the video, I'm sure, and I'll give them credit if I pull up their, their figures on the screen, but this is just such epic news, guys, and again, New York Toy Fair... Uh, on February 22nd on 2020 is going to be excellent. You know, that's 17 days away, I do think. I think it's 17 days, 17, 18 days away. And so uh, it's going to be excellent to see. Not only are we going to see AEW figures, but we're going to see brand new WWE figures from Mattel. So this is going to be excellent. I cannot wait to see, you know, both figure companies uh, you know, creating new sculpts, and, and it should make everything better, just like it does on TV, you know, uh, these toy companies are going to have small competition as well to, you know, you go to the store, which one are you going to buy? I know that a ton of us are going to buy both, but it's going to be, you know, they're going to be competing for that sale, where it's like, hey, am I going to buy this one, or am I going to buy that one? Obviously, WWE has a much bigger reach, and obviously, you know, Mattel's been established for a very long time. I'm sure these companies have been established for a very long time as well, but WWE is the concrete name, and they'll probably continue to win that space, but I'm excited for these figures. I mean, that's the biggest thing is we're actually getting AEW figures. Again, we don't know what they look like. As soon as we get images, if we get any leaked prototypes or anything like that, I will definitely put them up to you guys, but this is such huge news, but uh, I did want to give credit where credit is due to WrestleFig News for reporting it from Toy... Toy News International or ToyNewsI.com for, uh, you know, reporting it and getting the article up right there. And so uh, that is awesome, man. Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares are going to making the premiere its first line of toys and figures inspired by AEW. And so uh, I would guess that they're going to be, you know, elite articulation. I'm sure they'll have a regular series and then, a, you know, a bigger series. Jax always did that, and, and so did Mattel. So I'm sure that we'll, we'll see both sides of the coin featured there. And, you know, we're going to get Mattel figures from Toy Fair. There's going to be tons of new figures shown, and so that's going to be epic. I, I report that we probably will see the Fiend Elite. That will probably be completed, or at least a prototype will be at Toy Fair. That's confirmed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're probably going to see Elite Series 76, 77, 78, so it's going to be excellent. Um, but I think that is all the news that I have for you guys so far. Again, we don't know what they look like. We we do know who's making it. Wicked Cool Toys and Jazz Wares. They've made cool figures in the past, and I think putting their styles together, uh, increasing the size and everything like that is going to be excellent. I think they're going to knock it out of the park. I'm really excited to see what we get, you know, who we get. Um, I, I would imagine the first line, we got to get Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. I hope that's like the first thing because, you know, we have Chris Jericho, we have Cody Rhodes, we have Dean Ambrose. Uh, I really want to see guys that we've never seen before in figure form. So Kenny Omega, MJF, Young Bucks, Adam Hangman Page, guys like that. I'm sure if they if they wanted to, you know, maximize profits, they're probably going to do Jericho, the first AEW World Champion. That makes sense. Uh, John Moxley will probably be in there. Cody Rhodes will definitely be in there, which I'm all for. I would just, I really want to see the Bucks and Omega made first. But I guess we're just going to have to see about that. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think. Um, at first, when I first saw Wicked Cool Toys, I thought they were the ones that made those, you know, I don't know if you guys remember those Ring of Honor figures that were pretty just not good. They kind of reminded you of Jax. I don't know uh, exactly who made those. I think it was Wrestling Figure Company or something like that. And uh, that's not who that is. So I I'm glad to see that. You know, Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares are going to come together for this little thing here. But I can't wait for it, man. going to be excellent. Let me know again what you think down below. Who do you hope they make? I'm sure they'll include a women's figure as well. We'll probably get Brandy or Dr. Britt Baker probably with the first wave. You know, we're going to get freaking an updated Dustin. We're going to get Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy. I mean, they're, they're, I'm, I'm freaking ecstatic, man. I cannot wait for this. This makes Toy Fair like 60,000 times better just because we're going to have brand new things. We know we're getting WWE figures, and that's going to be excellent, but adding in AEW, we're finally getting AEW figures and toys to go along with our WWE Mattel figures. Just just, just excellent stuff, man. I, I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait for this. It's, it's freaking ridiculous. It's excellent. And I want to say back in in the early 2000s, late 90s, um, I do believe that didn't, uh, wasn't it Jax and Toy Biz making the two different styles of figures? Like Toy Biz made the WCW. I could be wrong about that. If somebody has some information about that, let me know down in the comment section below when the last time was that we had, you know, two separate companies making two separate WWE. And I know we had TNA making Jax too back in the day as well. So that's just cool, man. It's really cool to see this come back. And I can't wait to go to Walmart, Target, wherever the hell. And just look on the shelf and see multiple companies represented on the shelf. That's going to be so cool. I can't wait for that. But 
Thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. I'm going to get the hell out of here, take care of my mouth, film some Hell's Gate, eat some lunch, freaking just get my mind prepared for this surgery on Friday. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.